today is August the 17th, and if you can look at these skies, it is just gloomy as all cut out. But I looked at the radar before I left out, and there's no rain nowhere around us. It did rain last night here in Ozark, Missouri. I'm in Rogersville right now at turnaround number one. I'm going to see what I feel like when I get to my turnaround point. Either I'll go for two or I'll just call it one. But uh, I made pretty good time getting here. It seemed like the wind is blowing out of the west. And that's not a good thing because on the way back I got a headwind. And uh, it's cold. I wake up in the morning and want to leave. I want to leave out at, you know, 7 o'clock. And it is like freaking cold. You can see what I got on. I put I put this on underneath my stuff. You might can see my reflection in the mirror. But uh Yeah, I'm dressing for the occasion. I did take yesterday off. I will admit that I did sleep over eleven hours. Come and go. Ah, uh, not that I know of. Okay. Way down that highway there, okay. that next two exits. He got him a tractor. He looking for come and go. He may have one of them come and go cars. Either it's me or I, I, I'm not from around here, but that is a that's kind of a funny name. Oh, he's gonna buy this gas. Okay. All right. Where was that? Okay, I took yesterday off. I, I could have done something. I, I promise you, I could have done something. But uh, my body said take a break. So I took a break, and uh, I won't even know what I'm gonna do until after the ride, and then I may do a little something extra. But if not, I won't. I won't worry with it. But your body will tell you what you need, when you need it. The same thing about this ride, um, the power. I'm learning more. I've been doing this for so many years, actually. If I go all the way back to when I started, it was 1995, and I got my first bicycle, you know, road bike. It was a Trek 1200. I still got it. It's at my brother's house in Houston, Texas. I, mean, I think I'm gonna get that thing out one day and rebuild it. Just totally rebuild it. And uh, they're all new parts frame up restoration. Oh, that's another video for another story. Okay. Quantum jumping. I've been practicing quantum jumping and time collapsing for a long time. I know people laugh at me when I say I can collapse time. Well, I'm sorry, I can't. It's, it's just a fact of uh, awareness and consciousness. And to be spiritually aware just means that you're awake. And to be awake means, well, hell, I ain't figured that out yet. But I think it means that you can become younger, healthier, stronger, faster. Just increase everything that you want to increase by using things and tools like quantum jumping. On the quantum jumping side, let me get to this real fast. Um, I'm quantum jumping to a buddy that, that started riding a bicycle when he was a kid. And he watched... Uh, you know, the races, uh, Tour de France. And at 14, he, he got more involved. At 18, he was involved. He was uh, turning pro by the time he was 19 or 20. Now that buddy exists in an alternative timeline in the multiverse. I jump over and talk to him about what I can do to increase my speed. And what he's been telling me lately is power, power, cadence, cadence. And as I'm on the bike and I'm going up a hill, I've learned not to gear down. I've learned if I do anything, I gear up and go faster with the crank until I burn. And then when I burn, burn means I, I reach a point of uh, exhaustion. My uh, count gets above 140. Then I slow down, I go down two, two kicks, 
and that's on the gear and then I actually speed the pedaling up at that point and that's what's doing it for me I got trucks pulling off to the left of me to the right of me I can't hear what I'm saying I know y'all can't hear what the hell I'm saying so um, let me go ahead and finish this by saying quantum jumping is real I've talked about it before all right I gotta go it's done turning into too long of a video Keep watching. If you watched all the way to the end, um, you're very <laughs> dear to me. That means that you really uh, are the type of viewer that I, I really want. If you're that viewer, uh, share this with your friends, your family, uh, other people that are experiencing life through the awakening and are in the modality of getting their body as healthy as they can. For whatever reason, I do not know. I just know I'm driven to do it. All right, appreciate it. Hey, everybody. Buddy, the rooster's still out here. When I made the lap, first lap, I didn't see him or hear him. But when I made this lap, he actually crowed at me. Hey, buddy, the rooster. I'm on lap two. Let me get on to Rogersville. Going pretty fast today, even though it's cloudy, it looks like crap. Rogersville, here I come. Hey everybody, I'm on my way back from lap number two, and look who meets me in the road. Hey buddy. How you doing buddy? Don't get excited. Everything is okay. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Hey buddy. Hey, buddy. You sure are mighty pretty. Are, are you just living out here? Oh, don't run off. I'm not going to hurt you. Looks like his tail feathers have been rather pulled. It looks like his tail feathers ought to be longer. But maybe he's a juvenile, a little younger thing than what I was thinking. It's all right, buddy. Buddy, I got you. I'm not gonna hurt you, buddy. I think he's blind in one eye. No, he opened it. <laughs> okay, buddy. I'll let you be. Thank you for showing me up. Uh, you all, let me get where I can get a good video of you, buddy. I appreciate it. Y'all know the joke about the chicken cross the road. I think buddy's fixing the cross. Buddy's fixing to cross the road. Oh my goodness. There is a car coming, I can hear it. Buddy crossed the road. All right, buddy, I'm gone. Here comes the car. Look how fast they drive on this road. Bye, buddy. Farm Road 186 and 149. Buddy the chicken. Well, that's 17 mile an hour average. 46 miles, 2 hours and 43. And this is lap 3. By the time I get back to Ozark, it'll be 60, 61 miles. I don't know if I'm going to slow down, speed up, or just maintain. You can't never tell what you're going to do until you do it. But if you never get up to go do it, you will never know. So, if I can encourage you, just get up, start walking, stretching, moving around, play a game, basketball or something. Move around is the best thing. If you're older, you know, a lot of older people watch me too, but if you're older, yeah, don't park really close. Park way off and walk up to whatever you're going to and 
just just keep walking. Just walk laps around the grocery store. Anything you can do will help. Please like us and share with your social media. Please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our new videos. Stay tuned. This video is Creative Commons. You have permission to download, copy, and distribute it by any means. What would you say about your 20s? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it somewhere in between? How would you look back on that, that decade in your life? Um, I don't really like you, Luke, so I'm not going to answer your question. Right.